So we're going to talk about properties of exponents. So if you have two values a and b, which are real numbers, and you have r and s, which are rational numbers, then there are eight properties of exponents that we can use. The first is if you have a to the r times a to the s, what you do in this case is that you add the exponents. So this becomes a to the r plus s. And similarly, if you're dividing a to the r over a to the s, here, instead of adding, you subtract. So this becomes a to the r minus s. The third property says that if you have two values, a times b, and you're taking that product to the r power, what you can do is distribute that r. So this becomes a to the r times b to the r. And similarly, for division, if you have the quotient a over b to the r, you can do the same thing. So you can split up the exponent, so this becomes a to the r over b to the r. Now for these last two, it's um, important to note that this is not true of addition. So if you have a plus b to the r, this does not equal a to the r plus b to the r. And as it turns out, the same is true for subtraction. a minus b to the r is not equal to a to the r minus b to the r. Okay. The fifth property is that if you have a to the r and you're taking that to the s power, what you do in this case is you multiply the exponents. So this is going to be a to the r times s. The sixth property is a um, reciprocal property. So when we're talking about a to a negative power, so a to the negative r, this is the same thing as saying 1 over a to the r. So that negative exponent just gives you the reciprocal. And of course, a cannot be equal to 0 here. And actually down here, b cannot be equal to 0 as well. And similarly, when we're talking about negative exponents and fractions, so if you have a over b to the negative r power, what this does is the negative gives you the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as saying b over a to the positive r, r power. And then finally, the last two properties are if you take any value a to the first power, it's just going to give you that a. And the last is if you take any value to the zero power, you're going to get 1, provided that a wasn't zero to begin with. So these are the eight properties of exponents that you should keep in mind when working with exponents.